Hello everyone, I am Abhimanyu Sharma, architect by profession. I am serving as assistant professor in the department of architecture and landscape design in Sri Mata Vaishnavi University, Katra. In the last exercise, we had done a TPS activity in which the problem floated by me to the students was to design a contemporary wall unit. I repeat, to design a contemporary wall unit. That exercise was further divided into three phases according to the schedule. Those three phases were think phase, pair phase and share phase. Under these phases, after floating the exercise to all students, students were bounded to think and to identify the problem, can also have pairing or group discussions according to their thoughts and finally in the end. The result can be shared throughout broadly for perfect assessment. In this particular exercise, the same topic that is contemporary LCD wall unit will continue with the broader discussions and with more details. Firstly, let us make it clear that the problem floated is a part of a interior design. If interior design is concerned, the aesthetics, color, material, etc. will play a very vital role in the further process of the discussion. So, out of all these four pictures, all are beautiful but in their respected eras. These two examples, that is on the right side, example number one and example number two. They were fine and were workable, but some years before, when traditional style of every element was appreciated. But in today's world, industrialization, globalization and modernization are playing very important roles in these contexts. Contemporary styles of designing is being appreciated in the interior and the exterior elements. These two, number one, and number two are the typical example of contemporary modern style in the interior design of a LCD unit which are adopted and appreciated today by the public. Under the heading of elements of design we have categorized in five different headings namely space, shape, line, texture and color. They are further elaborated as space depicts the area between object in a room whereas shape of the element reflects its style whether it is historical or contemporary, massive or minimalism. Under the heading of lines, under the heading of lines, four different types are horizontal, which gives the feeling of steady, calm, and restful, but on the other hand, vertical lines depict power and dignity. Diagonal lines give the impression of creativity and active, whereas curved lines are considered as softened elements. Color is also one of the important tools as it influences how people feel and the mood of the room. In short, all these elements of designs are important to consider while designing any particular scheme. Last but not the least, the principles of designs which are mandatory to follow whether you are making any type of design. The principles of design should also be considered for clean and respectable designs which are further classified into six heads namely harmony, proportion, scale, balance, rhythm, emphasis. All these 
principles of design example are further elaborated according to their importance and necessity in making a perfect module thank you